Hello, welcome to my video. This is a beginner's guide on how to play Steam games on Linux. I'm gonna show you how to install Steam in all these distributions and how to play games after that. Before we begin, make sure that you have the proper driver installed if you have the NVIDIA GPU. And if you're not confident enough about installing it in Linux, make sure to check out my other video, which I talk about how easy it is to install it nowadays. And feel free to jump into whichever Linux distribution you like using the timeline. Now let's begin. Let's look at Ubuntu first. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that the system is up to date. So what we need to do is to open terminal and type in this command, sudo app update and type in our password. So here it says all packages are up to date. But if there's any packages pending update, it will give you another command it says type in this app list dash dash upgradable. If that is the case, what we need to do is to use this sudo apt upgrade. After that the system is brought up to date, what we need to do next is to open the terminal again and type in this command sudo apt install steam. Type in our password and say yes to this and wait for the installation to complete. And after that, we should be able to see Steam here. Second, we have Fedora. Similarly, to make sure that the system is up to date, what we need to do is use terminal. The command we need to use here is sudo dnf update. I will be jumping to the part where the command is finished. The system is up to date now. What we need to do now is to restart our system to finish the upgrade. And after the reboot, what we need to do is go to software, click on enable third party software repository button, and then go to this hamburger menu, click on software repository. Here we can see RPM Fusion for Fedora 34, non-free, Steam, and enable it. Type in our password. You can see it is enabled here. And we can close the software here. And then we need to do sudo dnf update again to make sure that Steam will be showing up in our package manager. And now if I search Steam, Steam will show up here. Let's install Steam now. So what we need to do is sudo dnf install Steam. Wait until the command is finished. We need to answer yes in order for Fedora to import this key. And after the command is finished, we'll be able to see Steam in our applications. And the Steam login page will show up after the first time update. Let's take a look at Archbase Linux. The distribution I picked for this video is called Endeavor OS. It is a distribution purely based on Arch and it is super user friendly for the beginners. Even their welcome page can take care of a lot of things for the user. And we don't have to worry about updating the system because the default installation process will take care of it. So we can jump right into the Steam installation. If you are interested in Arch Linux, then I guess you are already somewhat familiar with the wiki. What I'm going to do is to follow the Arch wiki. First, I'll go to installation. And here it says enable the multi-lib repository and install Steam package. So this is pretty straightforward. If I click on the multi-lib link, it will show me how to enable it. And for the simplicity, I'm going to use the default editor. So I'm going to copy this file name and open the terminal and do kate and the file name. Here it says enable the multi-lib repository, uncommon this section. I'm going to search for multi-lib, which is here. And I can see it is already uncommon. So what I'm going to do is close this and copy this command, go to the terminal and paste the command and Steam is showing up right here. So what I can do is to install it, sudo pacman dash capital S Steam, hit enter and my password. Here I'm going to use NVIDIA as my Vulkan driver provider because I have a NVIDIA GPU. Answer yes to confirm all the packages to be installed and wait for it to finish. After installation is done, we can run Steam now. Like other distributions, Steam login page will show up after the first time upgrade. And finally, I want to show you how easy to install Steam on Pop! OS and Manjaro. 
All we need to do in Pop! OS is to open Pop! Shop, click on Steam, and click Install. Type in password, and wait for it to finish. Then Steam can be found in Applications menu. And here comes the login page. And in Manjaro, Steam is pre-installed. So what we need to do is to open the menu here, and then search for Steam, and start it. Now we can enjoy Steam without even having to install it in Manjaro. Now after the installation, let's see how to make most of the game work on Steam in Linux. Once we log into Steam, all the games that is available on Linux will be able to install, but the other games will not. What we need to do is to go to Steam Settings, and go to Steam Play, and enable Steam Play for all other titles. Click OK, and it will ask you to restart Steam. And after that, all this title will be available to install. And we can go to ProtonDB.com to see how to make each of the title work. And most of them won't require any additional settings. And that's it guys, I hope you liked this video. And let me know if you have any questions in the comment down below. And please hit the like button if this is helping you daily driving a Linux distro. And I'll see you in the next one.